Let's talk about gender recognition in Ireland. When I first published a video on my YouTube channel covering the suspension and the ultimate jailing then of the school teacher Enoch Burke, who was teaching in Wilson's Hospital School in Multi Farnham. I originally did it from the perspective of an employment law matter. I do quite a, lit a lot of employment law and it's not often that you see a disciplinary process or an investigation or a disciplinary suspension even with full pay. It's not often you see one of those making the headlines because it's just ho-hum sort of stuff, it's regular stuff that happens every day in the workplace. But when you see the way that this thing blew up and the fact that Mr Burke continued to go back to the school in breach of these high court orders uh, and ultimately then was jailed in September and uh, sent to Mountjoy Prison and released then just before Christmas. The original uh, motivation of me making the videos essentially was that uh, from an employment law perspective it was unusual. It was unusual and it was interesting and then Mr Burke obviously brought in the whole question of gender recognition and etc etc but the fundamental question the fundamental issue at the outset from me uh, from my perspective was that this was an employment matter it was simply disciplinary suspension etc etc and lo and behold this man keeps turning up in school in the workplace and eventually gets jailed so when I published the videos however it opened up a kind of a can of worms in relation to gender recognition and um, a lot of comments on that question uh, were left on my YouTube channel and obviously I've observed a lot of comments generally on social media sites including Facebook and Twitter and so forth and there is uh, some interesting comments to put it mildly. Uh, I thought I'd make this video because there seems to be some uh, confusion about uh, what's uh, up for debate and what's not up for debate. Okay, some of the comments then on social media and on my YouTube channel dealing with this question of Enoch Burke being jailed in Mountjoy Prison, the school teacher from Wilson's Hospital School, and he claims it is about gender recognition and so forth. But some of the comments uh, I want to just deal with because they are representative of a certain a group, small group of individuals, but a group nevertheless. Let's take it the first one here. No one should be forced to refer to someone with a Christian name as they, Zen or any other nonsense. Someone needs to stand up to this gender identity delusion before it adversely affects everyone. Second comment there is from a gentleman called SK. He should never have been bothered by the legal system in the first place. This so-called sex change thing is ridiculous nonsense and dangerous. And SK goes on then to say that, let me just bring it up here. Are you seriously telling me that if someone cuts off their manhood and create a whole, that that will make one a woman with the added help of female hormones? What about having a womb can this person give birth no of course not you're away with the fairies etc these comments are indicative of individuals a group of individuals who appear to think that there's some debate to be still had about gender recognition but from their perspective i have bad news and that is that we have gender recognition law on our statute books since 2015 and you can see there the gender recognition act of 2015 section 8 makes provision for the application for a gender recognition certificate so a person may apply for a gender recognition certificate and there's a process through which they go the individual or person who is referred to in the section 8 is set out in section 9 and we can take a look there to see who's actually eligible the section applies to a person who satisfies condi the conditions specified in subsection 2 basically somebody who is 
may or may not be ordinarily a resident in the state and whose birth has been registered, etc., etc. And you'll see there the provisions and the requirements uh, who's entitled to who's entitled to uh, apply. But the bottom line is, from the point of view of the comments that I've had a look at there and the comments generally on my YouTube channel and the comments generally on the on social media generally, what those p individuals need to consider is that there is an act on the statute books since 2015 which makes provision for gender recognition as you can see and down at the bottom then it tells us that the uh, purpose of the act is to here we go you'll see there that the gender recognition act of 2015 is an act to recognize change of gender to provide for gender recognition certs and to amend various pieces of legislation including the Irish Nationality and Citizenship Act 1956, the Civil Registration Act 2004, the Passports Act 2008 and the Adoption Act of 2010. The fundamental point is this, the debate if you live in a democracy is over. The people have spoken, the legislators have legislated, the act, the law is on the statute books. Now, you may wish to open up a debate again, or you may wish to uh, operate in and live in a theocracy. However, for those people who are satisfied and willing to and happy to live in a democracy, that is free from the authority, as it were, of religious rulers and free from the authority of, for example, the morality police that you might see in Iran. For those of us who live in a democracy, the debate is over. We have the legislation and it is perfectly lawful and legal for an individual under Section 8 and the individual uh, set out in Section 9 may apply for a gender recognition certificate. And that is the legal position. It is a perfectly legitimate, lawful aspiration. If you find this video interesting or informative, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. And I'd be interested in reading your comments on uh, the content uh, down below on my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.